Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga derivatives ng mga trig functions. At dito sa four examples ko, gagamitin natin yung uh, rules like quotient rules, product rule, at saka yung rule ng pagkuha ng derivative ng e to the u du dx. So let's go ahead at umpisahan natin yung derivative ng problem number one, which is pagkuha ng derivative ng 2 cosine x, cosecant x. So number one is y equals 2. So, kailangan lang alam nyo na kung ano yung derivative ng cosecant x at derivative ng cosine x at nandun yun sa formula sheet na napakita natin dun sa previous lesson natin. So, pagkuha ng y prime will simply be, be 2 times the derivative ng cosine x, I mean cosecant x, plus 5 times ddx ng cosine x. At alam natin, yung derivative ng cosecant x is simply negative cosecant x cotangent x. So, papalitan natin siya ngayon ng derivative, which is negative cosecant x cotangent x, para may sulat natin yung derivative ng cosecant. Add it to 5 times yung derivative naman ng cosine x at alam natin yung derivative ng cosine x is negative sine x. So by simplifying our derivative function, we'll have negative 2 cosecant x cotangent x plus negative 5 sine x. At kung gusto nyo i-simplify siya further, we can simplify this into y prime negative 2 cosecant x cotangent x minus 5 sine x. At ito ngayon yung derivative ng problem number 1. So let's go ahead and answer problem number 2. So sa problem number 2, gagamitan natin siya ng dalawang or actually tatlong uh, derivative rules, derivative ng e to the u, derivative ng tangent, at saka yung product rule. So, sa number 2, we have y equals e to the x times tangent x. Notice na pinaghiwalay ko sila para mas makita nyo na minsan, pag pinaghiwalay natin yung dalawang function, mas malalaman natin na product rule yung gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng derivative nitong function na ito. So, una natin kukunin is yung y prime. So, I usually just take the derivative ng una. So, d dx ng e to the x multiplied by tangent x plus e to the x multiplied by the derivative naman ng tangent x. So, yan yung setup natin. So, ang kukunan natin ng derivative is itong dalawang function na ito. So, yung derivative ng e to the x is simply e to the x. At yung derivative naman nun ng tangent x is equal to secant squared x. So, ito ay magiging secant squared x. And then, the rest of the function, kukopyahin lang natin. So, y prime is equal to e to the x times tangent x plus e to the X. So, ito ngayon yung derivative function natin. At to simplify yung derivative natin, all we need to do is to factor out e to the x. So, kung lilinisin nyo yung answer nyo, it will just be e to the x times tangent x plus secant squared x. At yan yung problem number 2. Now, let's go ahead and answer problem number 3. Yung derivative naman ng function na to. So, mapapansin nyo, gagamit tayo ng quotient rule to solve this problem. So, let's have y equal to sine x plus 1 all over negative 3 cosine x. At gagamitan natin siya ng quotient rule. Which is low d high minus high d low. 
all over low squared. So ito yung gagamitin natin to solve problem number 3. So unahin na natin yung solution nung derivative. So if we have y prime using the formula low, so copy low times the derivative ng high which is sine x plus 1 minus high sine x plus 1 times the derivative of low cosine x yeah. all over negative 3 cosine x squared. So, gagawin naman natin ngayon is kukunin natin yung derivative nitong dalawang function na to. So, magkakaroon tayo ng y prime equal to negative 3 cosine x times derivative ng sine x plus 1 will simply be derivative ng sine x which is cosine x plus derivative ng constant which is simply 0 minus sine x plus 1 times derivative ng negative 3 cosine x will, which will be negative 3 uh, negative sine x kasi ang derivative ng cosine x is negative sine x all over Kung i-simplify natin ito kasi squared siya, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 3 squared times cosine squared x. So, ito ngayon yung ating derivative. At gagawin na lang natin is lilinisin natin yung derivative natin by simplifying our rational expression. So, let's go ahead and simplify this. So, y prime is equal to negative 3 cosine x times cosine x minus ito magiging sine x plus 1 multiplied by 3 sine x all over 9 cosine squared x. So, yung derivative natin, pwede na siya nating uh, um, solution. Pero kung gusto nyo pa siyang um, simplify, pwede natin tong i-distribute at pwede natin tong i-multiply together. So, yung y prime natin can be negative 3 cosine squared x minus sine squared x or... 3 sine squared x plus 3 sine x all over 9 cosine squared x. So, yan yung derivative ng pangatlo nating example. Now, sa last example, meron tayong e to the u. So, kukunin natin yung derivative ng e to the x squared secant x. So, in this case, alam natin ang gagamitin natin is derivative ng e to the u, derivative ng product rule, at derivative ng secant x. So, umpisahan natin siya with kopyahin muna natin. y equals e to the x squared times secant x. Notice na binago ko ni rewrite ko yung function kasi para makita nyo na x squared and secant x, product rule yung gagamitin natin later on. Kasi ang derivative ng e to the u is equal to e to the u times du dx or yung derivative ng exponent. So ito yung gagamitin natin dito sa y prime natin. So if we are going to write our y prime, we will start with e to the u, which is yung original function, e to the x squared secant x, multiplied by the derivative ng x squared times secant x. 
So, in this case, gagamit naman tayo ng product rule. So, yung first function natin, kukopyahin lang natin. So, let's just set this aside and kunin natin siya later on. Pagkatapos natin, kunin yung product rule nito. So, sa product rule, gagawin ko is kukunin ko yung copy ni x squared times derivative ni secant x plus derivative ni x squared times secant x. So, kukuna ko ng derivative itong dalawang ito. So, notice na kahit ano yung unahin ko, parehas lang ang magiging result niya kasi addition naman yung product rule. So, it doesn't matter kung unahin yung kunin yung derivative ni first term, bago ni second term, or vice versa. So, ang magkakaroon tayo, or ang magiging derivative natin would be x squared times deriv derivative ng secant x is secant x tangent x. Plus, derivative ng x squared is 2x multiplied by secant x. Yan. So, ito ngayon yung derivative natin ng product rule. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, kung gusto nyo, is simplify siya. Pero, sa ngayon, pwede na natin itong gamitin as our derivative function. So, yung final answer natin would be y prime equal to e x squared secant x multiplied by x squared secant x tangent x plus 2x secant x. So, yan yung derivative natin nung problem number 4.